Hello everyone and welcome to an, your first episode of Saturday Morning Makes for the year 2022. The only difference is it's coming to you on a Sunday morning instead of a Saturday and that's only because I had a bit of a bug, a stomach bug the last two days and I just didn't feel up to filming it on Saturday morning. So um, I am filming this on Sunday. and uh, <clears throat> But the projects were made on Thursday and Friday night and I'd hoped to film it on Saturday, it just didn't work out. Um, I guess the projects were made Thursday night, anyway. Um, so let me share with you what I created. And I wanna welcome you all back to another year of Saturday Morning Makes. Um, I saw some projects out there on Saturday. I didn't get to look as many as I wanted to just cause I wasn't feeling the greatest. But um, I know that some people have been sharing throughout the hiatus. The hiatus is over and we are back to creating on a weekly basis. Um, there were a couple people that mentioned that they wanted to start doing Saturday morning makes, but they can't post on Saturdays. And I just want to remind everybody that you are welcome to post your video whenever you can or your um, pictures on Instagram or Facebook. You're welcome to post them whenever you're able to post them. Um, the good thing about posting a video is that you, at least on YouTube, you can date it to Saturday. Um, the idea of everybody posting on Saturday is so that on Saturday morning, everybody can spend a little bit of time going around and looking at everybody's projects and commenting. I think um, seeing each other's art is so much fun and I, it, it helps to grow this community that we're all in of sharing art. And uh, you guys have made this past year just a total joy for me and everybody in this community. I've heard so many wonderful comments. And uh, so I want to thank everyone that's been part of Saturday Morning Makes from the beginning or has joined in the last week or the last month. Um, and to anybody that's out there wanting to join now, I hope you'll come and join us. It's a lot of fun and you'll make new crafty friends, which is a wonderful thing. Um, not only that, but you're meeting people who enjoy paper crafting or embroidery or cross stitching or crocheting, whatever it is, whatever art that you decide to share, jewelry making. So I hope that you'll all join us. I don't care if your channel has a million subscribers or three. It doesn't matter. Um, if you're on Instagram and you're brand new, it doesn't matter. If you're just starting out and you're not sure of your art yet, that's okay. We all started there. So um, the joy is in the creating and sharing it. And you'll learn a lot just by looking at other people's art. I, le I still learn things and I've been doing this forever. <laughs> So anyway, welcome to 2022. Happy New Year to everybody. I'm so glad you're here with me today. And let's get started. So I have been working, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted on Thursday night that I was working with this beautiful stamp. This is a stamp um, by a company called Imaginations. This was an eBay purchase. And I purchased this in, I believe, in a lot of stamps. Um, and I had set it aside to show you guys, and then a bunch of stamps got knocked onto the floor. So now I don't remember where which stamps I got when, but um, I'm excited to share the ones that I got with you guys eventually and show you. I guess I could kind of show you really quick some of the stamps that I picked up in the lot. Um, I got this one that says Sleep in Heavenly Peace, and I just fell in love with this bear with his striped socks. And just to kind of show you how big the stamp is, it's a smaller stamp, and these are great for putting a square in, this, in the middle of your A2 size card. Um, and then this one is called, this is by Sandy Gore Evans, who is a wonderful heart artist. I just love her illustrations. Okay, and this is Uptown Rubber Stamps. Okay, isn't that just adorable? I can't wait to color this one. I think this would be really cute on some square Christmas tags with a fluted edge or, um, you know, I'm, I'm not speaking correctly. You know what I mean, a scalloped edge. Then I got this one here. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I love vintage Santas. And I saw this one. Um, this was part of a lot too. This is a PSX and this is from Petaluma, California. It's G759. You can always tell PSX stamps because their wood is just a little bit thicker and heavier than some of the other woodblock stamps. And their images are just incredible. So, and they do a beautiful job of um, having the image be right on the stamp for you. And it holds up really well. Whereas some of the sticker ones they wear off, which I don't like. Um, this was another one that I got. Uh, who is this by? This is a Great Impressions from Centralia, Washington. It's H119, and I just thought this was adorable for the spring. It's this sweet little mouse in front of a gate. He's got tulips, and then the, he's carrying a pot with a beautiful sunflower or daisy in it. 
So I just thought this was adorable. I had to have that one. And again, a lot of these were, I, I can't remember if this was a lot I did. I usually do lots from a single seller or I get things at the thrift store. So um, these are all just sitting here on my desk and they're ones that I had hoped to use and show you guys. This one's called F862, I think, Snowy Village. And this is of course Hero Arts. So I just thought this one was really cute too and would make wonderful tags. Um, let us see what else is on here. Uh, this one, which I fell in love with. Why do you think that is? Because it has my favorite word, joy. So this one is, um, it says Don Hauser and it's Inka Dinka Do. So there's the information on that one. I'll get a little closer so you can see it if you're interested. And I just love the word joy. And I think this would be a lot of fun to, to make some tags with. So that's going to go up with all my joy collection of stamps. And then I already showed you this one. This was also part of that lot. I showed this on another video, I believe, really briefly. And again, this is Imaginations. And so this was part of a lot um, that they did. And then this one also is, this one's called Happy Holidays. And this one is Annette Allen Watkins, 1995. And I just loved how it had the little candy canes below it. And then the last, uh, there's three more I can show you. Uh, this one came together also in that lot, and this was an apples and a basket. And these are hooks, lines, and inkers. And uh, does it have, yeah. So there's the information on these. These are both from 1993. Okay, so those were all my little stamps. There's one more. There's this one here, which I had hoped to color and uh, make a card with. I still might do it because winter cards um, go all the way into March around here. We we have cold weather and snow and stuff. So this is 1207F, Four Bird Houses. And this one is Embossing Arts Company, 1996. So such a sweet little image. I love how it has the greenery with and the snow on the birdhouses. I can't wait to color that one. So those are just a few of the woodblock stamps that um, I purchased from a single seller, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. And let's get into the projects for today. So um, I had gotten a while back when Anna shared that her the winter whippersnapper release came out I had ordered some stamps and I can't remember if I shared these with you guys but I always order them bare rubber okay so they don't have any cling foam on them or anything um, and then I go to the website and I just print out the the information from the stamp and I usually also will write the stamp name and number here but I haven't done that yet I think I forgot to do it the day I printed these so I just print out uh, the stamp image and these two I know for a fact are Anna. I think all of these, are these all Anna's? Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all your stamps, Anna. Correct me if I'm wrong, dear. Um, I know these two are. Um, so I got these two, because you know me, I just love snowmen and gingerbread and I love angels. Look at that cute angel in there. And Anna has videos on her channel where she has shared cards made with these beautiful images. So these are the four that I bought. And uh, I wanted to play with these. So the first one that I colored was this one here. And I hope to color them all and share them with you eventually. And then I, I used this stamp set and I used the Have a Super Fun Birthday for a card that I made. And this is an MFT stamp set that I just love the little kids in here having snowball fights. So this is a really fun winter set if you're not familiar with it. Let's see, does it have a name? It's called Pile on the Hugs. And I think I shared this a couple years ago when I got it or a year ago. I'm not sure. Um, and then uh, this is the paper pad that I used. It's called Trim the Tree, and this was gifted to me. I wish I had written who gifted this. Jana, did you give me this? I can't remember who gifted me this. Karen, I don't remember who gave me this. But um, let me show you the papers in here. Really, really pretty papers. And uh, lots of my favorite colors. I love the browns and the greens and the reds and the it's just a really nice paper pad, lots of patterns. There's snowflakes and knit prints and gingham and wreaths. Just really, really pretty. So I used this and was very happy to have that. Um, I used these dies, which these are like forever old, you guys. Um, and the company that made these is no longer making dies, but you can find similar dies at any big box store or Simon Says Stamp or scrapbook.com and uh, I, I have a newer set that I'm using that has just a scallop piece. These ones happen to be open scallops um, and I think these were Provo Craft lifestyle crafts if that helps you if you want to look on eBay for them. 
And then this is just a scalloped stitched um, die set, uh, a circle die set from MFT that has little dots, uh, an open scallop circle die set from uh, Spellbinders. This is about 20 years old, I'd say, um, maybe less, 15. Where are we, 2022? 20, I don't know, it's pretty old. And then, uh, and then this is a Gina Marie Designs doily edged set, which is really pretty. And I use the smallest one of these. And uh, these are some Lawn Fawn um, uh, scallop dies that have little holes in them, which are fun. And then I also got one Christmas present for myself, besides those stamps that I just showed you from Whippersnapper Designs. I got this from Honeybee. And I saw this um, when it came out and wanted to get it. It, it. Does it have a name on here? I don't think they put the names on. Oh yeah, they do. This one's called Pierced Fancy Flakes A2 Cover Plate. Okay, and it's one of their Honeycuts dies. You can see the number there. And uh, this is what the die looks like. I think it's always helpful to see what a die looks like. Now this does not cut a rectangle. So you're gonna cut the paper that you want. Like for example, here I, I die cut a scalloped frame. And then you take the scalloped frame and you're gonna put the side face down on top. This is how I did it anyway face down and run it through. And then when you pull it up, you'll have this beautiful um, snowflake pattern that is, it isn't raised, it's flat. And that can be really nice to have when you're mailing something. But I just thought the subtleness of this was so beautiful. So it's just a gorgeous pattern. And uh, I just loved how lightweight and easy it was. And this can go through just your regular die cut machine and you end up with an embossed piece. And I like that because my upstairs machine does not do embossing folders. So it's nice to have things like this if you're crafting in some place where you don't wanna take all the machine that can do embossing folders. Um, I have a machine that doesn't allow embossing, a very old machine. And uh, so I do like to have things like this in my stash because then I can get the look of an embossed piece without having to come downstairs to my freezing cold basement. So isn't this pretty? I just think this is the most beautiful die. So thank you, Honey Bee, for creating this beautiful, beautiful snowflake plate die. I just think it is so pretty. And there are other dies like this on the market. I think they even have a leaf one that's really pretty or it has something I can't remember what it was now but there's there's lots of these types of dies coming out on the market they're a lot of fun so those are all the products I used um, let me get those out of the way sorry I just threw them on the floor for now because <laughs> my desk is piled high with stuff right now and we're gonna get into the cards that I created and I guess I'll do them one at a time so here's this first one and this is using this sweet stamp that Anna created and I did do a little bit of black um, detail on here. I made a little scalloped edge at the top of the mug. I added the word joy, which I hand wrote on there, and it's a little bit crooked, so <laughs> just ignore that. <laughs> I was doing it freehand, and I turned it slightly when I went to write it, and I didn't realize I had turned it again. It was sitting on a lined thing. Um, so sometimes you just can't, can't succeed. <laughs> <laughs> but I doubt you guys can even really tell. So, and uh, it, again, whenever you have things that are a little bit off, to me, it just adds to that homespun charm of a card. Um, I added some of the Dollar Tree lace down here and just a scrap from my scrap pile. This was a piece of paper, I think, from that pad that I showed you, or it may have been from a different pad that I just have a few sheets left of and then this is that scallop circle die and you can see i colored it with copic markers i also colored the background with a bg10 marker and then i used a gray marker and some white stickles on the bottom here to make snow and then uh, i did carry the lace over to the back of the card which i like to do and then when you open it on the inside i just added some of the leftover scraps of paper that i've been using um, to fancy up the inside of the card so I just think that turned out so cute, and I'm not sure what sentiment I want to add to the inside of this one, because I am I could even use this for a winter birthday, I think, because it's just such a cute image. So that's the first one that I made. We'll set that there so that you guys can see it. And then uh, I made a bunch of cards using the winter... Um, mm, 
let me show you these two first. Um, so on a previous Friday Night Fun video, I had shown you guys a rubber uh, stocking stamp that I was playing with. And this was one of the cards that I made, and I decided to add some blue little highlights into the stocking because I really felt it needed a little more contrast and I wanted to carry the blue color through the card in three places. So you can see blue, blue, and blue here. And then I also stamped some snowflakes in the background in these little hearts, which I did color with a blue marker after I showed it to you. So sometimes I play around with my cards afterwards. I photographed this, looked at the photo on Instagram, and I just didn't like it. Um, so I didn't load that photo. I decided to play with the card a little bit more. And there's one other thing I might do. I might add something right here like a piece of lace or something but i'm just not sure yet sometimes i'm just trying to get to the contrast that i need and i'll give you an example i added this green piece of paper after the card was finished and it's what made the card pop the green bow the green stripe and then the green pieces in the stocking and it really those rules of three and just having some contrast on the card with this green color really made a difference in how this card looked when it was done. So sometimes setting your cards aside and walking away helps you know what it needs to finish the card off. So those were two stocking cards and uh, I just think these all turned out so cute. And I hope to mail these out to some of the people that I did not get Christmas cards to. Unfortunately, between my son getting sick, me getting sick, and uh, some other things that happened with Christmas, I did not get all my Christmas cards mailed this year. It just wasn't possible. <clears throat> so, all right. So those are those three cards. And then uh, I did play with that snowman stamp that I showed you from Imaginations. And I made three cards with it. So I'm going to set those out right here like this and we'll go through them okay this was the first one i did and this uses that plaid paper from that stampin up paper pad this was a scrap i had in my stash and these were both scraps from uh some cards uh, from actually from the paper piecing that i did to produce these so you can see i paper pieced his hat and scarf here the star and the little scarf there and then i colored in with copics and then added, after I was all done, I added stickles to make the snowman sparkle, okay? And then these two little scraps were added just to kind of tie in the papers from this, okay? And uh, this is on a hunter green or pine feather green cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And then I added two more little scraps to the inside. So just a sweet, simple little snowman card. And you'll notice I did not put a sentiment on this because I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It could be a thank you note or it could be a birthday card. I have a lot of January birthdays that I need birthday cards for. So uh, this little card is going to go out to my niece, Jackie, for her birthday. Her birthday was yesterday. <clears throat> and I sang happy birthday to her with my son on the phone. Happy birthday, Jackie. We love you so much. And uh, so I hope to get this to her. She said she's going to come by the house soon. So I'm excited to see her. And uh, this says, have a super fun birthday, which is from that MFT stamp set that I showed you. I used three of the little inches or squares from that stamp set. And you can see that I did paper piece them once again with those scrap papers that I had. And then I added two snowflakes that I die cut um, onto this background piece here that's in blue with the little um, stars and snowflakes in the background. So, and then this was a scrap piece of um, gingham that I had in my stash that was already cut to the size of a card front. And then on the inside, I added a red piece with a snowflake and then this little bit of gingham at the bottom that I had cut off uh, this panel to fit it. So that is how that card turned out. And I'm hoping that Jackie will love it for her birthday. And then here's another one of the ones where I just used two pieces of that stamp set to get it to make a card. This is a, a green snowflake pattern from that paper pad. And then this is a paper tray ink um, paper that they sell in packs of different patterns. And uh, I did add the glitter to the stripes on this paper. And I also added it to the snowflakes down below. So that is just some stickles that I added onto the papers to make them sparkle. And then I added a tiny bit of this blue gingham um, just to kind of mirror the blue that's in the background of those because you do want to try and carry things through in threes. So um, I thought this turned out really cute. And then I added some papers to the inside too, along with a snowflake. 
So this this one, these three little snowman cards were so fun to make. And I think I should almost do them over again, but use pastel colors now. So I think it would be fun to paper piece these in some pinks and yellows and just different um, pale pastel colors. And the other idea I had was to paper piece it using some text paper. So I may still do both of those because I really liked playing with the stamp. So these are all the cards that I made. I hope you can see them all um, to share with you. I have one other one that's a little bit different. This one says, find joy in everyday blessings. And that is a sentiment. Let me grab it really quick. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, I think I might have left that set upstairs. I can't show you. Never mind. <coughs> This is a stamp set from MFT Stamps. And if you're really interested in knowing what the name of the set is, I can let you know. It's old, though. I will warn you, you may not be able to find it in their shop. You might have to look um, on eBay. But um, I've, this beautiful paper is from that paper pad from, I think it's, what is the name of her company? Anne Marie Designs. I shared this paper pad in a previous video. I, I can't remember if it was a Friday night fun video or a Saturday morning makes video. But if you need to know the name of the paper pad, I believe it's sold out. So I don't know if you can get it unless she restocks it. But um, I just wanted to do a card like this that said, Find Joy in Everyday Blessings. I use that green um, pine feather cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. I haven't put a liner in this one yet. And then, believe it or not, this little piece of string that I found is from a towel that was ripping, from a bath towel. I was folding towels, and this card was sitting there, and this was hanging off the towel, and I thought it matched perfectly. So I literally, um, it was, I, I had torn it off the towel because it was hanging, and I just decided to use it to tie off this card. So that's probably a little strange to some of you, but I don't mind reusing anything I can find to make a card work. <laughs> So you can get a little chuckle out of that. But um, I loved this paper, and all I did was add a little bit of glitter like snow to the berries and to the center of the poinsettia. So um, a very, very simple card. And then this is that Gina Marie Designs um, scalloped set that I showed you, the scallop die set. So I just have to add a liner to this one, and I might even cut out um, a little poinsettia or something to put on the inside with the liner. But um, I just thought this turned out so, so cute. So um, those are all the cards I have to share for Saturday Morning Makes on a Sunday, first video of 2022, and I hope that if there's anything you would like me to change about how I share my crafts with you in 2022, that you will leave me a comment to that end tonight, okay, or today. Um, I... I am trying to share more of my process with you guys. Anna White, I know so many people do process videos and do such a good job. I'm working on that. Um, it's so cold in my basement that I don't like crafting down here in the wintertime. So I would have to figure out a way to film upstairs, and I'm trying to think about how I might be able to do that. So let me know what, what you would like to see in the new year. Is there a certain company you would like me to use their products more? Um, are there certain stamps that you've seen in my Curating Christmas video that you would like me to use and make a card with? Uh, share anything you'd like about what you would like to see during 2022. I would love to hear um, what you would like to, to see on my channel. Um, I, I just, uh, and I also wanted to mention one other thing. Uh, Saturday Morning Makes has gotten very big, and because of that, I may not see your project right away. If you are new and you are posting for the first time especially, I would love to see what you post. So if for some reason I don't see your project, please tag me so that I can see it. Tag Greenwood Girl Cards on Instagram. Leave me a comment or an instant message on Instagram saying, please go look at this. And I will go look at it. It might take me a few days, but I will go look. Um, because I love have having new or artists join us. Um, to spread crafting around the world, I think is a wonderful thing. Um, creating art, uh, for me, is bliss. It is choosing joy. It is making myself happy and sharing it with all of you and all of your beautiful, kind words. Um, it just makes my heart happy, and I think it might make your heart happy, too. So I hope you'll share with us in 2022. You are all welcome. Everybody is welcome to join in with Saturday Morning Makes. Just hashtag your project, Sat Morn Makes, S-A-T-M-O-R-N-M-A-K-E-S. 
All right, everybody, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I will be back with you with another video very soon because I have some projects sharing new dies from Erica's company for Scrap Diva 29. So she has started her own die uh, uh, sales, her own shop, and uh, I'm, I have some things to share with you guys. So I'm pretty excited to do that in the, hopefully, maybe later today. We'll see how today goes, okay? All right, everybody. Um, I can't wait to see your projects for Saturday Morning Makes this week and next weekend, okay? I'll be back with episode two for 2022 next Saturday. I hope you'll join me. Bye now.